Hola everyone, what is up? Welcome to my canal, or if this is your first time here, hola, I'm Edgar, and today we are going to be taking a look at the juiciest, the thickest, the most scrumptious palette, the most awaited palette of 2019. Of course, I am talking about the one and only, the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star Conspiracy Palette. <laughs> Y'all, I had to swim through oceans, I had to walk through deserts, climb mountains for this palette. And my ankles are swollen, the bottom of my feet are bleeding, I'm gonna need some margaritas after this. It was a mission to get this today. I got up bright and early, did my base makeup, ran to the Morphe store, waited in line for three hours, and I got the Conspiracy palette. We're gonna be talking about all of the basics, the pricing, the colors included, the overall concept, my thoughts, my opinions, and of course, we're going to be applying this step by step using as many shades as possible to see if this palette is really worth the hype and before we get into this I did have a little bit of time last night to put together a little big giveaway we got some Sigma in here we got some skincare some hair stuff, just like a bunch of stuff that I felt someone might enjoy. So if you guys want to enter to possibly win that little care package, all you guys have to do is be subscribed to my channel, click the little notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up, and down in the comments below, comment your Instagram name, so that way I can get in contact with you guys. I'll be announcing the winner on my Instagram stories in exactly seven days from when this video goes up. So make sure you guys head over to my Instagram as well, check out my stories, be checking your DMs. And even if you don't want to enter the giveaway, what is you doing, baby boo? Subscribing is free it really helps out my channel and allows me to continue doing these reviews for y'all so yeah subscribe click the bell do all that fun stuff but yes let's get right into this Ooh, okay okay mandatory disclaimer i bought this palette with my own money it wasn't sent through pr even if it was sent through pr i don't really care my reviews on my channel are always 200 they are unbiased honesty is the best policy for this so why am i being so aggressive so let me just show y'all the packaging of the palette. We have this like super trippy spiral conspiracy. This is the actual unicard and then you open this up and here is the actual palette itself. So now to open it up, all you guys have to do is do these little latches right here. Are these, what are these called? These wedges? I don't even know. And then we open it up. Luckily, there is a retail store near me that I was able to purchase this from, so I picked it up in person today. This palette retails for $52 after tax. It was $56.03. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember if it was in episode two or three when they were discussing um, the price of the palette. I swear I remember them talking about charging like a premium. I thought this was gonna be like 60 something dollars, so I was pleasantly surprised when Jeffrey posted on Twitter the price list of everything from the collection. I think that that seems like a pretty fair deal. Y'all know some influencer owned companies have been trying it lately, selling like $5 palettes with six blotchy pans. Some people have been trying it lately. 18 pan eyeshadows for 52 bucks. Seems good, but of course we gotta test it out and see if it's actually good. It's not like super heavy, but it definitely has a good amount of weight to it. I think this is gonna be comfortable enough to where like you can hold it and do your makeup. We also do have a mirror up top, which if you are new to my channel, hello, I'm Edgar. I am really, really, really crucial on mirrors. Like if a shadow palette does not have a mirror, that's automatically a palette that is reached less for. Like aesthetically, this looks really cute and it also comes with functionality. So let me just go ahead and peel this off right here. I don't recall seeing any eyeshadow palette ever having a similar color story like this. And to be honest, although they did wait after Halloween, this doesn't really read Halloween like if they were to release it during October. It's a pretty unique color story. It seems like it's something that can be used for several different occasions. So, and I, ooh, literally, I just got the notification, your order is being processed. <laughs> Okay, so I have a black side bag coming to me. I need to wait for the restock of the black mirror because I really, really want one. But let's get into the shadow palette now. I'm gonna do exactly what I always do. I prime my lid with a concealer. This is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. The one I'm gonna be using on my lid is in the shade 01. Y'all, when I tell you ditch your shape tape, this is a million times better and it's not as drying as well. If you are on the drier side, this is bomb. So I'm gonna be going in with this on my lid. 
And as a security blanket, I like to do a little bit of powder right under my eye. Actually, y'all, I take that back. This is kind of heavy now that I'm holding it with one hand. Okay, so like I said, I have no freaking idea what I want to go in with today. I'm just going to wing it and see what we create. So I think I'm going to go in with Flaming Hot. I don't know, this red is just calling to me. So I'm going to start off here on the outer corner. Okay. I'm going in now for the second time and just patting this on. Now, from what I recall, I've never really had issues with a Jeffree Star eyeshadows before. I feel like they're pretty bomb. And because my eyes are tiny and hooded, I'm just going to kind of wing this out a little bit just to give them a bigger appearance. I'm using this, I don't even know what this is, it's like a MAC brush. Um, and I'm picking up a little bit of cheese dust. And right at the border of that, I'm going, oh, this is really black. You know what? This literally looks exactly like, oh, it's called cheese dust. I thought it was Cheeto dust. It's literally the color of like puffs, like spa on. It's kind of crazy. And I'm just tapping this right along the edge of that. Just to kind of diffuse all the edges. This orange is so sick. Like, do y'all see how easy that's going on? Okay, going back in with a little bit more of a flaming hot, same brush. And again, just pressing this in. I prefer to gradually build my shadow as opposed to just packing it onto the point where you're just struggling and blending it out for hours. And then once more with no additional product using the same brush that I used for cheese dust, just going in and blending this out. Now I'm going to dip into Not A Fat, and I'm using this time a little bit more of a denser brush. Still like pointed and tiny, but it's a little bit denser than the ones I used previously. And placing this right on the outer corner. And this palette is very, very pigmented, so I'm not really like digging into the shadow palettes. I just kind of, you know, dip in a little bit. So it seems like we are on track to something cute, hopefully. And with no additional product, I'm just going in and kind of building out my crease a little bit. But now for the lid, I'm going to use a conspiracy shade just because it's like the conspiracy palette. And I feel like Hot Cheetos with Limon. <laughs> Why is this turning into a Hot Cheetos inspired look? Oh my God. Okay, so I'm dipping into conspiracy. I'm placing this along the lid. Oh, okay. And I'm bringing the shade in all the way throughout the lid up until where it meets this darker color here. All right, so here is Conspiracy all applied. You can see it's pigmented enough to where I don't even need a concealer to actually cut the crease. Like I cut the crease with the shadow itself. Also like the color is really pretty. It's like the shade of money. One thing I personally would have probably done with this green is add a little bit more or add like a little bit of a pearl. You know how some shimmers are like, this one is like a really pretty, just like reflexive even coat, but I would have added like a little bit of like a sparkle in there. So I'm gonna do the rest of the eye, but I'm probably gonna end up adding a little bit of like a little bit of a liquid glitter in there just to really make the green pop i'm going to take pigment and i'm going to pack that all along the lower lash line i'm going to use this kind of as a transition to before i go in with a different color i'm taking flaming hot and i'm running this all throughout the lower lash line as well so you see now we have a little pinky red moment going on right there. Now I'm going to take a flat shader brush like this and I'm going to go into my right here. Right along the lower lash line, I'm going to create a shadow. Surprisingly, I'm not getting fallout from this one either, which is rare for blacks. They usually have more fallout. And on another little tiny brush, I'm going into my right is here once more. And I'm placing this right in the center of the darker shade that we applied on the outer corner. And then just wing this out just a little bit. And I'm going back in with the brush that I used Not A Fact on, and I'm blending that black out. It's just right on the edge right here. Now I'm going to go into this shade that has been calling my name. It's the neon one. It's called Food Videos. And I'm taking this dense brush right here and I'm going to be placing this as an inner corner highlight. All right, not bad. Actually, let me go in with my pinky and see if I can get this like, bam. 
Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell? Let me go in and blend out the edges with the brush that I was using. Well, y'all, if you want to use this as an inner corner highlight, pack it on with your pinky because, wow, that was night and day. It is probably my favorite shade that I've used from the palette. I'm going to take a little flat brush and I'm going to go in with Ranch. Not too much of it, though, because it's like a stark icy white. Just on the brow bone, I'm going to hit the brow bone just a little. One, two. Oh, yeah. Go very easy on this shade. Miss Ranch is very, very, very pigmented. I don't see anything wrong with the lid, but I would like a little bit of sparkle, just my personal preference. So I'm taking this LA Splash uh, Glitter Liner. This is in the shade Grindylo. And I'm going to brush just a little bit of this right over the lid. Y'all see that? Like, right away. This is just making the green pop a little bit more and giving us a little more dimension as well. Now we really talking. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of liner. This is the Lady Gaga Eyeliner. And just do a line right over my lash line. So now I'm going to replicate this eye on this eye over here and I'll be right back so we can finish up the look. All right, so I went ahead and did the other eye. I added a little bit of highlighter, just touched up my face because I was melting. Now let me go ahead and pop on some lashes. I'm gonna go in with my favorite pair of lashes that I've been using. They are these right here. They're in the style Craze from the Lash Bar LA. They are super dramatic, but yet wispy at the same time. So they don't cover up like all the hard shadow work that you did. Very long, very fluttery, super flattering on every eye shape. Let me show y'all what I mean. You will see. Just look. Do y'all see that? I mean, I still need to kind of like fix it. Again, these are in the style Craze from the Lash Bar LA. Use discount code EDGAR. I'll link them down below. And then of course, we can't forget our Vato Loco Teardrop. And then for the lip, I unfortunately did not pick up any of the lippies because one, they didn't have the lip kit in person. And two, they only had, I think like one shade left. So instead I'm gonna be going in with the Androgyny Liquid Lip and the Androgyny Lip Liner. All right, y'all, so here is my final look using the Shane Dawson X Jeffree Star Conspiracy Palette. Now, let's talk about my thoughts, questions, comments, concerns. I used eight out of the 18 shades that are available in this palette. What do you guys think? Like, you obviously saw step by step exactly how everything performed. I always try using as many of these shades as possible to really get the full experience with the palette because I know on a typical day, I mean, this might be your go-to look or it might be like a special occasion, you know, different strokes for different folks. I think this performed very well. The formulas were consistent across all of the mattes. I did use two of the metallics as well. Conspiracy see on the lid and then ranch on the brow bone which by the way y'all my brow bone looks lifted and of course you guys saw me throw on a little bit of that glitter on the lid which really amped up the look but, you know as far as performance i definitely give that an a plus the color story i really did enjoy it because although it's not like like it's honestly never something i've never seen before and i don't think i would gravitate towards this in the store once you put it on on the eyes it just looks like stunning i tried to go with a little bit more of the wilder colors and even then this doesn't really look that crazy to be honest at least not in my opinion i think overall it is just really cohesive and it's something that i enjoyed overall i just didn't really stress about anything the shadows blended out beautifully alone and also interacting with each other you know they blend out really nicely so yeah would i recommend this palette yeah, I definitely would recommend this. It's sold out right now. Um, as of the first launch date, a million units sold. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty, pretty freaking sure there's going to be a restock coming soon. So keep an eye out. Remember, like I said at the beginning, this review was unbiased. I have been watching Shane for like 11 years now, since like 07, 08, since like you're watching Shane Dawson and Friends. I've been through Shane and Friends, Bernie Lewis Taylor, Shannon Malcolm, The Girdle at VidCon. So I've been following Shane for a good minute. I'm really happy for him as well as Jeffrey. This launch sold out a bravo beautifully done so shout out to them you guys killed it i think i'm going to be doing like a what's in my bag review for this little side bag when it comes so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel turn on the post notifications if you did enjoy the video please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below 
your questions, comments, concerns. I love to hear your feedback about the video or even just the palette. What did you guys think? Did you pick anything up from the collection? Did you buy everything in the collection? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, don't forget if you want to enter today's care package giveaway, all you guys got to do to enter is subscribe, bell, thumbs up, comment your Instagram down below. Just make sure you guys follow me all over the internet. I am at Edgar's Makeup everywhere, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. I post on Instagram pretty regularly. I'm getting a lot more into Twitter, so tweet me. Yeah, okay, you guys, that is everything from me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much, as always, for hanging out today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.